In today's video, we're going after crabgrass. I'm gonna show you what crabgrass looks like in the yard. I'm gonna talk to you about preventing crabgrass or getting ahead of it with a pre-emergent. We're just gonna talk about all the different strategies to control crabgrass. So if you, if you got crabgrass and you wanna know what to do about it, this is the video for you. Today's video is sponsored by Yardbook. I've been using Yardbook to run my lawn care business since 2015. If you need a software for your lawn care business, go to yardbook.com and sign up for a free account. Maybe Maybe we'll start off today and I'll show you what crabgrass is looking like in the yard. I'm early summer here. Crabgrass in my area, I'm in Alabama, it can really take off and start growing as the weather begins to warm. But let me show you what it looks like at this stage. I'll talk to you about some of the products that we're going to be using. We're going to test out a couple of products on the crabgrass so that in this video we can actually see which one works better uh, by the end of the video. So let's see what happens. Okay, early summer. I'm out here early in the morning. See my shadow here. We got Bermuda grass. It's been hot and dry, but overall, I mean, that's basically what Bermuda grass is supposed to look like. Could be a little greener with uh, a little more fertilizer applied to it. But uh, as you get a little closer over in this one particular area, you got crabgrass. Got a little crabgrass problem. Now, not all crabgrass is the same. Some is actually more difficult to control than others. But one thing, one, but one thing, a kind of general principle is typically crabgrass is going to be easier to control, and I'm talking about a, an existing plant here, easier to control early in the life cycle or late in the life cycle. Now I'm going to call this teenage, teenager crabgrass, so it's not early, early, um, but it's not as big and ugly as it's going to be, but it's certainly not late in the life cycle. I'm filming this initial part in June. So here's what we're dealing with, and I'm gonna mark these and we're gonna spray it with two products. So let me go show you the products and we'll talk about some control options. Okay, these are three of the products uh, that we're gonna talk about. Now, I tell people with, with crabgrass, this product right here, this is under Resolute, but it comes under different names, but this is the active ingredient Prodiamine. Prodiamine is very, very commonly used. It's not that expensive and is a great pre-emergent to control crabgrass. So what do I mean by that? Well, if, if you can put this down, let's just say you live in a place like I do where it freezes in the wintertime. When it freezes, even though I live in Alabama, it's hot. When it freezes, crabgrass dies. Okay, and it's an annual plant. So it's dropping seeds on the ground that the next spring are gonna try to, to germinate and grow new plants. Okay, compare that with like my Bermuda grass out there. It's just, it's just there. It goes dormant in the winter, but it's just, it's just gonna come back from that same uh, root ball where the crabgrass being annual, it, the plant's gonna die. So with these annual plants, if I can put this prodiamine down before the crabgrass germinates, which in our area might be early March, so I can spray this like in January or February, I'm gonna prevent, I say prevent, it's gonna control, you know, almost all the crabgrass. So this is the cheapest way, the best way, the most effective way. Well, let's say that didn't work and, and you end up getting some crabgrass. Another thing that people will do, let's just say a new customer calls me in, in late March or April and they've got crabgrass. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking they, they didn't have their yard treated last year. The crabgrass may be so small, I can't see it unless I want to get down on my hands and knees. I know what I'm looking for. But I'm thinking, you know what? The crabgrass has already started germinating in my area. I don't know that this prodiamine is going to be very effective. So what I'll do, I'll take that prodiamine and I'll mix it with another product. I'll mix it with something like Q-Ball. So I'll put the prodiamine in there. That might help, you know, weeds that haven't germinated, whether it be crabgrass or some other weed. But then the Q-Ball has the active ingredient quinclorac. So I'm, I'm hoping this is a, uh, a post-emergent for crabgrass. So I'm hoping that it's going to kill any existing crabgrass. Now, it would have been far better if I'd have just put this out in January or February. Again, I'm talking Alabama time frames, just as you need. Uh, after the crabgrass germinated and it's still small, I'm hoping the cue ball will knock it out. Another option, so you might hear people talk about using Dimension. Dimension um, is supposed to work as both a pre and post emergent. Uh, so if it hadn't germinated yet, it should have you covered. If it already is germinating and it's still very small, then the Dimension hopefully can control that as well. Um, so in this particular video, rely on the pre-emergent. At this point, we've got existing crabgrass, so we're going to go after it with these 
two different post-emergent products. We're gonna see which one works better, spray it, see what happens. We'll be able to see by the end of the video which product works better, how fast it works, does it cause damage to the grass, all these things be shown if you stay tuned to the end of this video. All right, I've got the weeds out here. What we're gonna do is spray two sections. So first up, this is the cue ball. All right, the next section we're gonna spray is with the Dismiss NXT. Now there'll be plenty that does not get sprayed now that we can compare with what has been sprayed. Now as an added bonus in this video, just for watching, you can thank me later. I found a clump of Dallas grass. I wanna spray the Dismiss NXT on the Dallas grass because I got a feeling it's gonna have some effectiveness on it. Let's do that also. Now this grass may get cut before the video's over, but this is a big clump of Dallas grass. So a perennial weed, we talked about annual weeds. This is not gonna control this with, with your Prodiamine or pre-emergent. So this gotta go after with the post-emergent. So we're gonna see what Dismiss NXT will do to it in the middle of summer, which is not exactly the greatest time to try to control Dallas grass, but let's see what happens. Kind of also want to see if it discolors the turf at all. all right, we've got it spray. We'll see what happens with the results. We're going to check back soon. It's been about six days. Time to check on the crabgrass. And then the bonus feature was the Dallas grass. So let's see what it looks like so far. Weather's been hot and dry. And I'm kind of interested to see this myself. So remember, we, we're using a uh, cue ball. And you can see... Um, what it looks like. We got cue ball and we got Dismiss NXT. So that's what the unsprayed uh, looks like. Now, the cue ball right here, look at this. I mean, that's really, really good results. To be honest, I was not expecting that. So look at that versus this. Might give it just a little bit more time because I know somebody's going to say, it's not dead, it'll grow back. I, I, I'm kind of thinking that might be dead. And then the Dismiss NXT, now we got a little discoloration there. I might have got a little trigger happy and sprayed too too much, but I mean it did it did some things. That's not that's not bad either. You see there, you see what was not sprayed. So got some results with that. And I want to show you the dismiss NXT that was sprayed on the Dallas grass. Tougher situation. But you know, let me make sure, yeah, Dismiss NXT. You know, a tough situation, it's pretty good. It's pretty good after, you know, a little bit of time we, we've got. It's definitely not happy. You could follow it up with some tribute total or Celsius and certainty. You might continue to suppress that. And we're talking about in the summertime, which is a difficult time to control weeds. Very impressive results on the crabgrass, uh, the cue ball. Let me just give you this as a side note to put to bed maybe something. I'm not saying this is ideal, okay? I believe that cue ball has been in that tank, and y'all can say what you want about this. I believe it's been in there for at least six months. Maybe maybe five months, okay? Because I put that in there. It's not something I use a lot. I was out spraying, what was it, wild violets. You know, some, every once in a while I get a customer and they got wild violets, and so we use cue ball. Um, I know sometimes people other places, it, with cool season grasses, you could use Sure Power, one of these other kind of products. Um, but for us, uh, cue ball is, is a, a decent product. Those are hard to kill. And so I, I just left it in there. It's been in there so long, and so you think about the effectiveness of it after being in there for months and months and months, I'm not saying that's true for every product. I'm not saying that's best practice. I'm just telling you in that situation, I've had that in that little two gallon sprayer for a long time and you see what it still did to the plant. All right, we're gonna check back one more time and, and see uh, what the results look like. So I've given it three more days. We're gonna put a wrap on this video. I wanna show you the final results and we'll make some conclusions. Let's start off with the Dallas grass because I don't think it's gonna change a whole lot. I think it's basically is what it is at this point and not terrible results, but let's look at it. So I did mow the grass yesterday and it had gotten up taller than I usually prefer. Partially I've been out of town for a few days, but this is the Dallas grass. So. Dismiss NXT alone by itself 
uh, okay product on Dallas grass, not an award-winning product. A lot of times I'll use, I may have already mentioned this, I'll, I'll use uh, Tribute Total and I'll put Dismiss in there, like not Dismiss NXT, I'll put uh, just straight Dismiss, which is still fetches on. Uh, Tribute Total is, is a good product, it's just for Zoysia and Bermuda, but even that, it, it's hard to kill it in one application. But definitely has some effectiveness on it. Now let's check out the, the main point of the experiment here, which was the crab grass. And you see how tall the grass had gotten a mowed around these flags. So note to self, don't let the grass get that tall next time. But let's see what we got. So this was, uh, let's do the, the, the NXT first. And, and you can see, I mean, it, it did okay. Again, I, I mow the grass and um, but that was sprayed and not a, a great crabgrass product, but uh, you could see maybe a little bit of, of discoloration, but it's not really the crabgrass product. On the other hand, the cue ball, which was the main point of the test, I just had to dismiss NXT and I just wanted to, to use it. But I mean, let's see if you can see this, like that brown right there is the crabgrass. I mean, and you can see it where it's been mowed. There, there, that's crabgrass right there. So, I mean, just just wiped it off the face of the earth. I mean, it's just gone. Not gone, I mean, it's dead. No, you don't have to pull it out of there. It, it's just gone. And you, you, you be honest, you know, I'm having to point it out on the video because if you came by and looked at this, you would, you would just see the Bermuda grass. It's taking over, and that's the point. The Bermuda grass takes over where the crabgrass was. So, completely dominant results by this. Now what kind of conclusions can we make? Here's my thoughts. The cue ball, you know, is, is a good product for crabgrass. It's not gonna kill it every single time. Certainly cheaper and easier just to get out there with your prodiamine and that usually keeps the vast majority of crabgrass. Move my head, got the sun, something coming coming through here but uh the cue ball was like i said six months old in this video so uh i, I think that's to me that showed me something I'm, again i'm not recommending that but just effective even after sitting in the tank for months and months and months and i think a lot another thing that was a big factor in today's video was that the crabgrass was at, at the life stage that it was at you know it was not like a, i wouldn't say baby crabgrass but if I would have waited a little bit longer, it may have been a little bit harder to kill, but it, it dominated this very quickly. I think another thing to consider is that, you know, some varieties of crabgrass are more difficult to control than others. So maybe we got the right variety. I don't know what variety we got. And maybe we caught it early enough and then we used the product that just dominated. You know, supposedly uh, Solitaire is another product that has the quinquloric in it, but it also has a sulfitrous on it, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, actually, is even a better product, but this obviously did well enough on its own. So hopefully this video helps you clarify and gives you an option and got there as a post-emergent for crabgrass. It also explained to you how to control it from a pre-emergent standpoint. Appreciate you watching. If you want to get into weed control and fertilization like me, you can go to LawnCareLife.com. There's also uh, information about the, the Lawn Care Life Conference there. I do a Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. It's a video course I sell that a lot of people that want, that live in the South or want to get, have warm season grasses, want to get into Weed Control and Fertilization. Many, many people have taken advantage of the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy and that has helped them get started in that journey. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.